The number of deaths caused by the consumption of illegal alcohol has increased in Banduragoda Mirigama. According to police, the number of deaths that stood at 6 yesterday has risen to 10 by today. The body of one of the four people who died in the past 24 hours was found inside a guard post of a pineapple plantation in Baduragoda. The deceased man, a resident of Balangoda, was the keeper of the pineapple plantation. The three others passed away while they were being treated in hospital. Fifteen other people who had purchased alcohol from this illegal brewery are still receiving treatment at the Mirigama and Watupitivala hospitals. The suspected owner of the illegal brewery was arrested yesterday and the residents of the area allege that the illegal brewery had operated with the support of police officials. Police want to give what? Although we informed the police it is useless, he was arrested and immediately released. This entire village knows about this. I don't know if people are scared of him, but no one speaks a word about it. We don't care even if we are killed, we speak the truth. Although the police comes now, when we told the police they did not come, they took bribes from this man. This man has been conducting this in secret. It was useless to inform any other police station. If we inform the Paliagoda police, they come here and the woman in the market tells them to hide and hide the goods. This is why even the Kalampa police could not nab these people. The final rites of two of the deceased was conducted this afternoon. When their bodies were being taken to the cemetery, area residents staged a protest obstructing the Nigambo Mirigama main road. The officers in charge of the Palavatta and Kotadeniava police divisions met and spoke with the protesters. The group called off their protest after the police officers promised a fair investigation into the incident. Banduragoda is under the Pallevela Police Division. I have to clearly state the manner in which the OIC of the Pallevela Police Station behaves has been problematic. We will conduct investigations about this for two to three days, but it is quite evident that false information has surfaced regarding this incident. A separate investigation is underway to look into that. However, two suspects have been arrested as of now. One of them is the person who is behind this illicit liquor business. But it is of utmost importance to conduct an investigation about the behaviour of the officer in charge of the Pallevela police station.